Why did I watch this piece of shit? I don't know. What's going on people? It's your boy, Brass Tax in this bitch. You already know. You already know. Now listen guys. I don't know why I watched this. But I did. I watched all the Resident Evil movies and I hated every one of them. They've got predominantly worse since the first one. Now I know there's some diehard fans of this movie. I know this movie has some kind of a cult classic status in this bitch. I don't know why, but it does. And for those of you who love this movie, just go watch it. Don't even watch this review because I'm going to spend the next few minutes not being pleasant in this bitch. Firstly, it's the final chapter. So, bravo to you. Secondly, this has got to be some of the most ridiculous, sloppy editing I've ever seen in a movie. Let's just start with the beginning for a sec, right? I'm not going to talk about the movie because there's no point, right? All we know is that it's ended and that's a good thing. All I'm going to say is, it's the final chapter, it's done. But they spend the first 10-12 minutes talking about the previous movies, the, the story that's happened so far. And even then, they've got selective memory in this bitch. They're not even being accurate to what actually happened in the previous movies. They're trying to fuck your whole brain up. I was watching it and I was thinking, wait a minute. That shit ain't even right. You lying to me. God damn. And then, the movie spends the next 20 minutes ripping off Mad Max, god damn it. Yeah, and not ripping it off well. The shit look ridiculous in this bitch. Editing is so bad, you don't know what the fuck's going on. Uh, the CGI looks terrible. You would think, you watching a movie like this, may have some redeeming qualities in this bitch. And it does have two redeeming qualities. The first redeeming quality, it's Miller. Yeah, we on a first name basis, baby. You still looking A1. You slaying zombies and you're in these shitty movies that your husband directing because he must love you. Because I'll tell you what. If I made Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, or the first one, maybe the second one, and I saw how people were reacting to it, and then my wife said to me, baby, are we going to do some more of these? I'll probably say yes, I can be real with you. I'll probably say yeah. So, I understand. But god damn, you affecting your brand in this bitch. Did you make more combat? Did he make more combat? That's yours as well. That was a good movie. What the fuck happened? God damn. And the second redeeming quality of this movie is that it's over. The camera work is terrible. Like, the shaky cam, not to mention in 3D, is fucked up in this bitch. This movie wasn't even shot in 3D, so it was post-converted in this bitch. It shows. I've seen other Resident Evil movies where the 3D looks a lot better than this bitch. There's depth, nothing really pop out. Even the depth is okay. It's not going to blow you away. Do I recommend it? No. I would probably recommend... Look, if you like the movie, I'd probably recommend you pick up the 4K version because number one, it's Sony. And number two, it was shot in 5K. Number three, it's a 4K digital intermediate in this bitch. So it should look stunning in 4K. I'm watching it in 3D and the special effects look shitty. Yeah? So they're only going to look shittier in 4K in this bitch. 3D transfers, okay. Nothing spectacular. Yeah, there's a degree of depth, but there's a degree of depth in every other 3D movie god damn it it's nothing special are you missing out no i would say just avoid the film altogether this film is so shit i don't care if you love miller it ain't worth it don't put yourself through that shit god damn it shaky cam and 3d shit made me shit was aggravating me in this bitch so no it's not a it's not a great 3d transfer it's an okay 3d transfer in this bitch just a bunch of of shitty action scenes with one pubic hair of actual story in this bitch. And the action scenes aren't even any good. I don't know what you want me to say. I'd say you can watch it for free when it comes on cable or Netflix or whatever. But you'll still feel ripped off in this bitch. I'm just going to keep it real with you. But in any case, it is what it is. But you're looking at shit in let's say 3D. Even 4K for that matter. It's still shit. You just hear more detail of the shit. Do you know what I'm saying? But that's it pretty much, guys. Avoid this one. This movie was shit. <sighs> Take care. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the like if you like the my review. But if you're a Resident Evil fan, you're probably going to hit dislike in that motherfucker. But in any case, take care. I'm going to catch you guys soon.